Megan and her PR team, as we can see, is a really, they're going into a frenzy now because this is just absolute desperation again and again and again. Now we have another old story coming out so that she can try and stay relevant because that's all she can do. She's now rehearsing or re-going over. She's re-going over what she used to do. So now it's the, she wants everyone to, to be reminded that she sent a person at the, one of the athletes at the Invictus Games a message. She wants everybody to know this, but look at the heading, Queen of the People. Now, Diana genuinely wanted to be the Queen of People's Hearts because Diana was a loving, caring person. See, everything Diana did, Meghan Merkel, Will Mirror, plagiarise and copy. She seriously needs to go and see Dr. Curry and it's just absolute pure vileness to just use a, a dead woman memory in that way. And then you have, now have Harry saying he talks to her spirit and all that vile malarkey. That's just, no, Harry, just please stop now. It's you, the pair of you are just getting worse and worse day by day. So moving on to the red suit. Now, someone pointed out a while ago about they felt that Meghan was wear, wearing a fat suit some of the time when they were in New York, you know, when she was, you know, strutting around with all the cameras and making sure everybody knew who she was and everything like that. I had a quick look, but I couldn't find the video of her actually getting out the car because it shows more when she's coming walking, if that makes sense. And I can't find the video, but I did find these. Now, the last one on the right, it took me a while to try and find that one as a comparison to what is actually going on here. And the person was right. She definitely seems to be wearing a... Um, what's it called, a fat suit on some parts of this trip around New York, New York in the same suit. So as you can see here on the left, oh look, she's doing the famous Michael Jackson jackets, uh, jacket swoosh I call it. Now yes, I know she's just not long had Lily, but however, even here, looking closely and this is the closest I can get without you without it getting too blurry for you around here something is amiss here you can see it more but in the video of her actually getting out the car there seems to be a bit of a bit of a breeze and it swooshes that direction and it does show it a bit more bulgy out than this now if I can right yeah Eve right forget about that little lumpy bit there that's just the material just here under these there's a little crinkle there and a, obviously the line line train track line there but from here to here around there there's definitely something cut because this is bulging this around this area here is bulging now, what you see on the left is where she's clearly taken it off. Now, this one looks bigger, obviously, because it's a bit more close up. But to be quite honest with you, I've looked at this photo over and over. I've zoomed in, I've zoomed out, I've checked for Photoshop. Nothing's going on here. These are genuine natural photos. And here, look, for some whatever reason, she's gone to the loo or gone somewhere and taken the fat suit off so why would someone why would someone do that it just doesn't make sense because here right this is the outside of the trouser suit here just like there it's out there puffing out a bit because she just likes to look like a parachute all the time didn't she here is the outside so ignore this bit here because that's just where the wind, the breeze is going to my right. But here is the thinness of her legs. 
why the hell would anyone compare that to that? Not even them baggy bits are even sagging around that much, only around this area here. Here, it's right up there. Why would someone even do that? Oh, anyway, moving on to... I'd like to know where Doria's gone. Where she, where she disappeared to? I know at the beginning, a lot of us thought, leave Doria out of it. She's staying behind the scenes and not making a whimper or not saying anything at all. But on the other hand, she has allowed her daughter to carry on lying to the world and not put a stop to it and not pulled her up and said, look, stop lying. You've got to stop doing this, Megan. Despite how scared her mother is, probably is of her, because you know what Markle's like, she's just a nasty bully. But if that was my daughter, regardless, I would send her a text message, I'd ring her up or tell her to her face and just say, yeah, just, just stop, it's wrong. You're lying left, right and centre. So why hasn't Doria done that? And I'd like to know why. All of a sudden, a few months ago or last year, whenever it was, she got nine nine million. Um, th this this is all getting co quite dodgy now. I know her mum was in jail for fraud when she was little, so that's probably why she did spend a lot of time with her father. But but still, come on. What is going on? Is Doria behind all this? conning the public and getting as much money as possible. Where are you, Doria? And why aren't you exposing your daughter or pulling your daughter up for the liar and scammer that she is? That's what I'd love to know. And apparently Charles did try to get in contact with Doria to help, you know, settle the rift. But apparently Doria ignored Charles as he called out to her for help. So this just clearly shows that there's something amiss here. Dory is either, I'm sorry to say, but Dory is either involved in it all or she's too scared to speak out or she won't speak out because she just doesn't care. I'd, like, I'd personally like to know what one it is because there's too many lies going on and it's got to stop. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.